Welcome to Super Elite Entertainment. This show is brought to you by Perez Tire Center, located at 72 Milton Street in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Aces Bell Bond, Yasmin Khan, quick response 24-7, easy payment 203-257-6228. Ramirez Spanish Restaurant, specializing in seafood e churrasco. Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Evolution Sports Bar and Cafe, located at 1279 North Avenue in Bridgeport. Miranda and Sons Automotive, specializing in brakes, electrical system, diagnostic check, full general auto repairs. Contact Louis Miranda at Miranda and Sons in Bridgeport Auto Glass, 1227 Barnum Avenue in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Visit www.bridgeportautoglassshop.com. <laughs> What's up you guys welcome to live with jason rodriguez i'm your host and we are here broadcasting from the city of bridgeport connecticut from the super elite entertainment studio which is located in downtown bridgeport so excited to be here broadcasting live as you guys already know this is something that i love to do this is my passion and i am here every single tuesday night at seven o'clock sitting on my very own hot seat but one of the things i'm excited about tonight is that i have no other than a really personal good friend of mine's name hanaf Zaman, who is here in the studio known as Z. He's the owner of Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, which is located right here in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, located right in downtown Bridgeport, Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop. Um, Z, my good buddy, is here in the studio with me. We're going to have a blast tonight. Hopefully you guys can hear me clearly. As a matter of fact, before I continue on with the show, I want somebody that's watching to let me know in the timeline that you can hear us clearly um, as of right now. Right now we are live on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch. We are also live on our website, www.supereliteentertainment.com. So I want to welcome, if you're watching on any of those platforms, and I know there's going to be a lot of people watching right now on YouTube. Also, I want to give a good shout out to my good buddy, Khan, who's working right now at Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop right there in downtown Bridgeport, 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport. My buddy Khan is over there watching live on YouTube. Big shout out to my buddy Khan. And um, I also want to give a shout out to all of you guys, girls and guys who are listening to us on our podcast whether you're listening on anchor spotify or apple podcast um I, I just want to welcome each and every one of you into the show tonight big shout out to all the essential workers out there who are working extremely hard on our behalf especially during these tough times where we're being affected by a great pandemic called COVID 19. so big shout out to all the essential workers who are out there working we have not forgot about you um as a matter of fact we're going to be coming back in a couple of weeks with our show called praying with music which is dedicated to all essential workers so we're going to come back we will be coming back with that show in the next couple of weeks but with that said i'm going to encourage you guys to please click that share button and share this live broadcast into your timeline listen if you are if you know z if you know the owner of spark city smoke and vape shop if you're from naga talk area he also has a store out there called discount what is this z discount smoke discount smoke He's way out there also in Naugatuck, Connecticut. So, hey, if you're in Naugatuck, tune in. Or if you know someone out there, uh, uh, download the link to this broadcast and send it out to all the different people that you know that's in your friend lineup, in your list, all right, in your messenger. With that said, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When I come back, we will start off with my good friend Z. 
from Spark City Smoke and Vape sitting on the hot seat tonight. We're going to see how he does. Z is a talkative person, so I'm sure he's going to smash it tonight, you guys. So we'll be right back momentarily. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Spark City Smoke and Vape, located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard, Bridgeport, Connecticut. <laughs> All right, you guys, and welcome back to Live with Jason Rodriguez. Again, I'm the host of the show. We're broadcasting from my studio in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Listen, man, I know it's nice out there. I'm sure you're probably at home relaxing, and you probably want to watch, you know, one of, one of your favorite shows tonight. But listen, man, you, you, you know, you're tuning into uh, my show tonight, and I just want to thank you for that. I truly appreciate the love and the support. Um, as a matter of fact, there's been quite a few of you who have reached out to me in the past um, couple of days telling me how much you enjoy the show and how you appreciate um, the broadcast that we do each and every uh, Tuesday nights. So, without further ado, I want to present to you guys a really good friend of mine. Um, he is an entrepreneur. He's a businessman. Um, he's a person, man, where, where listen, he knows how to establish businesses. He, uh, he owns Spark City Smoking Vape. He owns Discount uh, uh, Smoke Shop in Naugatuck, Connecticut. He has owned countless of other businesses um, in, in his past life. And um, this is just the beginning of what Z is doing right now, man. And there's a, a, a lot to come. And um, I present to you guys, without further ado, my good friend, Z. Hey, how are you? Uh, what's up, Z? How you doing? Good. Happy to be here. Uh-huh. The city isn't hot enough yet, but let's see how hot he can make it. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to make the seat extremely hot tonight, man. And um, I'm truly grateful and, and blessed for the opportunity to be able to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's no secret. You and me are really good friends. Yep. A lot of people on Facebook, on social media already know that because mm -hmm. we hang out with each other tough. Yep, we do. I mean... <laughs> we, we hang out pretty much four or five days a week uh-huh you know business not business you know store not store we go out we you know we talk business we talk whatever you know we just have fun you absolutely know? we work all that we got to have some time to have fun absolutely and one of the things that i love to do is i love to stop by your establishment which is called spark city smoke and vape shop yes spark city smoke and vape at 815 lafayette boulevard and Bridgeport, Connecticut. If you if you know the area, it's right in downtown. It's uh, right off the exit on um, Route 8, right off the exit in 94, uh, 95. Um, it's uh, right in downtown uh, in the Bob Furniture Plaza. So, you know, if you know the area of downtown, it's very easy. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I just want to mention that, you know, I, I love going to your place because it's an environment. You know, a lot of people might think and say, uh, you know, I mean, what can you actually do at a Spark City, you know, at a smoke shop, at a smoke yeah. lounge? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it's not all only about smoking cigars and smoking vape and smoking hookah and all those things, which, which you can do yeah. in, in the lounge area mm -hmm. of your establishment. But, but the thing is, is that the, the amount of people or the crew of people that, that we associate with that's there are people that are making an impact in the community people who absolutely. are always giving back like yourself yeah, absolutely. you know you you've been one of those who have a great reputation here in the city of bridgeport for giving back to the community so what i'm trying to say is you know someone coming out to your place is not only about smoking you know it's a place where 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 you build friendship a place where where you build uh, um 
uh, relationships with other people who are productive yeah, in the area. Yeah, at the end of the day, like um, I tell to everyone that, you know, at the end of the day, it's not just business that I'm doing. You know, I obviously I have a business, uh, but I like to help help out people. You know, I have made a lot of friends, just not customers. You know, I see customers as my family because uh, if they're not coming, I'm not making anything. Mm. So they're the one that's helping me grow. So I always see that part that I got to give back to the people that's giving me. Absolutely. And like I said, it's not only about um smoking because mm -hmm. people you know spark city smoke and vape that's not what it's only about you can no. come down there you can get a drink yeah um you can come down there and get your lotto tickets you can buy snacks yep. you have tons of snacks mm -hmm. there we had a uh, million dollar winner and just two weeks ago we had a five thousand dollar winner that's right and i'm I, you know i feel so sad that i wasn't the million dollar winner as much as i'm mm -hmm. at the store mm -hmm. i could have been the one that brought that million dollar ticket yeah i wish <laughs> that too but it didn't happen <laughs> so um I want to talk about you as a as an individual as a person because a lot of people when they when they see you and especially people who know me you know they they, they constantly ask about you who's the guy that you're always with you know the indian guy mm -hmm. you know the indian guy and um basically i want you to give a brief introduction of yourself because you're from Bangladesh, bangladesh 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 mm -hmm. yep all right mm -hmm. born and raised uh, no, I was uh, born um, born in Bangladesh, raised in the uh, Middle East, and then uh, moved to California uh, almost uh, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. And wasn't there for too long. And then from there, moved to Bridgeport, actually. Um, and went to Basic High School uh, for a little bit. And then after that, uh, I started working at different things. Um, wanted to do something different, but didn't really work out at that time. Uh, then I started to get experience into business. So mm. I worked with a lot of different business, starting from gas stations, restaurants, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway. You know, for a good five years, I experimented, worked, worked very hard. Um, you know, I did work a lot, a lot of hours. I had, at a point, I had three jobs. Mm. And slowly from there, working like four or five years, um, actually exactly five years from uh, last month was my first store. In, wow! Uh, discount smoke in Naugatuck was five years last month. Five years. You're not so. even thirty years old yet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean it was hard in the beginning. Um, like I already told you, mm -hmm. you already know a lot of it. Um, but it was very hard in the beginning because um, I didn't have that kind of manpower uh, like a lot of people do. I didn't have that much, uh, you know, investment that I could put in. Uh, so it was pretty hard for a couple of years, two, three years. And then I started, you know, getting upwards. And, uh, you know, at my four year of the smoke shop in uh, Naugatuck, I decided to open the one in Bridgeport. And I always wanted to do something in Bridgeport mm -hmm. because um, even though I grew up somewhere else, uh, I came to California, moved down here. But my young adult life was in Bridgeport. So I kind of have something connections in Bridgeport that yeah you know kind of after like five six years it brought back back to Bridgeport mm -hmm. you know so I decided to do something here that's awesome you know? and you know I first of all I truly appreciate the fact that you picked Bridgeport out of all other towns and cities because truth be told you have the resources to open your store in pretty much any town you you know you yeah. want to open it yeah you know you could have been up you know Greenwich and mm -hmm. Canaan you could have gone up that way yeah. Westport but Actually, you I was Bridgeport. thinking of Norwalk you think yeah you but, know, but you uh, chose Bridgeport. Yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people in the city appreciate that because mm -hmm. one of the things that the city's trying to do is they're trying to draw in, uh, uh, you know, businesses, yeah. especially into the downtown mm -hmm. area. Yeah. And, um, you know, you were drawn in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you grabbed the opportunity. You made it yours. You just recently hit one year. Yes. Uh, we celebrated the anniversary of Spark City Smoke yes, and Vape. We did. And uh, we had a blast. We had a good time. And um, pretty soon we we're going to do five years in Naugatuck. Five years. Yep. So that's gonna weeks. be a, that's gonna be like a festival. Yes, it will be. <laughs> All right. So before we go to commercial break, Z, how challenging was it for you to get started with Spark City Smoke and Vape? What were some of the big challenges you had to face? Some of the risk you had to take? Well, um, there was a lot of challenges. I mean, getting up and running a store is a very big deal, and it took me. Uh, pretty good amount of time uh, with 
permits and um, all the other stuff that you got to do with with the city, with the state, licenses and everything. That's that's pretty much was the, the uh, thing that took the most time. Other than that, that you know, it's always a risk. You know, um, this business, especially this one, the rent is four times the uh, four times the one in Naugatuck. Wow! So four times Naugatuck is the rent here. So it was a very big risk. Actually, um, the funny thing is when I w went in and talked with the um, landlord and everything to get the store, mm -hmm. I actually took two weeks just to make a decision if I want to take it. Still, I went in, I talked with them, everything was ready. I still told them I need two more weeks. Wow. Because it was a very big risk because if, if it doesn't go right, I'm stuck with it for five years. Absolutely. And, and if I should say, you're in a prime time real estate Yep. location you're mm -hmm. in, a, in a in a really hot spot yeah you got troop g state police across the street mm -hmm. you're right next door to a big yep. store bob's Bob furniture. discount furniture yep and right opposite of the Husatoni college and right next door to duck and donuts yep. so you're in, a, in an amazing area yeah safe area as well so we mm -hmm. want to let people know that if they come down to spark city they're coming to a safe environment yep. very safe yeah Probably the safest spot in uh, Bridgeport. <laughs> You're not lying. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So, Z, we're going to take a quick break, all right? All right. And when we come back, we'll continue on with the show. And I want to thank all of you guys that are watching right now. If you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, if you're watching on Periscope, on um, all the other different platforms that we are live on right now, even on our website, we are live. I want to welcome you to the show. Tonight, if you're just tuning in, I'm the host of the show. My name is Jason Rodriguez, and I have Z Hana Zaman. Uh, his name is so complicated to pronounce, but you Z, tried it for a whole 24 hours. He <laughs> still cannot pronounce I've it. I've been practicing for 24 hours to pronounce his name properly, and I just slayed it. I just destroyed it. But we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll continue on with our conversation with Z from Spark City Smoking Vape, guys. We'll be right back momentarily. Hi, welcome to Aces Bail Bonds. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you need information regarding bail bonds and the bail bond process? Contact us at ACES Bail Bonds, where we are happy to give you a free bail consultation. You are in capable hands with our reputable agency. For fast, reliable bail bond service, get out of jail fast with ACES Bail Bonds. You can save time and money by calling ahead. We'll have the forms ready for you, with everything handled privately, discreetly, and confidentially at our office. For fast, reliable bail bond service, call Ace's Bail Bonds now. Welcome to Ramirez Restaurant. All right, you guys, and welcome back to Life with Jason Rodriguez. Again, I'm the host of this show, and we're broadcasting from our studio, Super Elite Entertainment Studio, located in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. And um, you know what? I got to give another big shout out to my man, my boy, Fahard Khan, who's watching live right now on YouTube. We, we see you. We see you, Fah uh, Fahard. You're watching on that big 80 inch screen TV inside the store right now. So, uh, you know. Well, I won't dare call you your nickname right now live on the show <laughs> because it'll be really, really appropriate. And I'll probably have, you know, a bunch of protesters uh, waiting for me outside. So I will not call you your nickname. But for you guys that are just tuning in, I have Z from, uh, he's the owner of Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, which is located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport here on the hot seat. So let's see how, how, how the hot seat is going, Z. Is it, is it hot yet? It's getting, just, uh, it's getting warm. It's getting warm? Warm, yeah. Not hot yet. <laughs> so how you feel? You... you Feel good. Yeah. Feel, feel very good. Having Glad a good time. to be here. Yeah. Great time. You always we always have great time. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. So so many things I want to talk about. We we started talking briefly talking about your background, um, where you were born, where you come from. You would you you were you were also really raised in Bridgeport, besides, mm -hmm. you know, Bangladesh and, and Middle East. Middle East and all of that. So you really are product of the Bridgeport school system. Mm -hmm. You you graduated, I believe, from Bassett, Bassett High School. Yep. 
And after you graduated, you started working multiple jobs, mm -hmm. 16 hours a day, yep. 20 hours a day, yep. in order to, to accumulate the, mm -hmm. the finances you needed yeah. to get yourself going. Absolutely. It wasn't the plan when I was going to school, but it happened. Um, I really don't want to you know, say what happened, but I was supposed to work at a different company that um, the school system had to deal with at that time. At, kind of really didn't work out uh, from the city so yeah that's that's that was the end of it it kind of threw me off a little bit um i'm gonna say it kind of pissed me off because i worked hard to get there uh in that company uh i was i thought that would be a job i would do forever but you know didn't work out for um various different reasons which wasn't me mm. so that's why i got into business so I can do things for myself. Absolutely. And, and if I should know. say you are a very successful businessman and, um, you know, for, for, for a young guy, because you're not even 30 yet. And I, and I, I keep throwing that out there because I, you know, I appreciate the fact to see someone of your age and your caliber being so success, successful and being able to do what you have done. Mm -hmm. I mean, at such a young age, it's not too many people out there that mm -hmm. can say they're doing what you're doing. And, you know, I believe this is just the beginning of greater things that are to come in the near future because I know you got some things in in mind and some things working stirring up in the background yep. and people are going to know shortly what's mm -hmm. going to be coming out soon yeah. but you know uh, you know I just want to encourage you know uh, anyone that's watching who who's a uh, uh, aspiring entrepreneur someone who wants to do what you have done mm -hmm. um, you know it's possible it's possible if you work hard yes, it's definitely possible you know I hate when people say like yes there is no job there is there is no certain thing as there is no job if you want to work you can always find somewhere to work mm -hmm. there's always job around Absolutely. and i never believed that there is no job when i i was out of school i looked for job and within a week i had six different offerings six, six different places and i took three of them mm. schedule matched so i took three jobs i was doing 108 hours a week wow wow that's that's insane. Yeah. But you put in the hard work and dedication. You sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And you and me, we we've spoken a lot about mm -hmm. a, a little of everything. And mm -hmm. I know what you have gone through and mm -hmm. and how hard it was for you to get to where you are. But I mean, you sacrifice years while mm -hmm. everyone else was out there mm -hmm. enjoying life yeah. and and you know doing uh, like the stuff we do now because yeah. we go hard with each yeah, other. Yeah. Like I have a lot of people that, and a lot of friends that um, even say like, "Oh, you having fun? You know, you're having good life?" Uh huh. I was like, "Yeah, but you were the same person that saw me five years ago doing what I did." Uh huh. So if you do that, there will be a point you're gonna enjoy. You know, we do the business, we work uh, hard at a, for a certain amount of time to get to a point that you don't have to work that hard to get whatever you need. Mm -hmm. So, I mean that that's my strategy. That's excellent, Z, man. So, my next question for you. You opened your business. You hit 1 year anniversary just recently, which we celebrated. Mm -hmm. So, about 5 or 6 months ago, 6 months into a new business. Not to mention your rent is crazy high. Mm -hmm. You have a, a great expenses. 6 months into your new business, we get hit by a pandemic, COVID-19. What was your mindset walking into into that experience? It, it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. It wasn't it wasn't good for a good one month. For a month I really struggled because um like the Nogatuck one, it's already been four years. So people mm -hmm. know, people, you know, text me, call me. Um I can send stuff to their home or bring it to them or they can come, I you know, give it to them outside the store they don't have to come in but as far as uh, Bridgeport goes it was a brand new business I really didn't know what to do for a good month um, it was pretty bad I didn't think it would survive mm. I really didn't and after that it started uh, picking up a little bit and like I said before if it wasn't for uh, the customers the friends families that I have I wouldn't be where I am today it's that's why I always say customers I treat them as my family absolutely better than my family absolutely. because they're the one that supported me throughout everything during the pandemic I had customers that came in said do you have gift cards I said yeah sure for who it's like me why 
So like, I just wanted to help you out. I want a $500 gift card so at least you have something and I can always spend the money here. So there are customers like that and that help me out a lot. That's yeah. awesome and you know, you mentioned the word friendship and I love that word, especially when it comes to you because if there's anyone out there, especially in the city, that's, that's friendly, if there's someone out there in the city who, who's a real true definition of a friend, that's you and i'm not saying that just to say Thank because you. we're live on camera but look but literally and legit you are a really good friend and i truly appreciate Thank you, you. Thank in our you. friendship man and and uh you know i also uh, appreciate all of our other buddies mm -hmm. who are part of our crew as yeah. a matter of fact i want to point them out really quick let's mm -hmm. let's let's do this yeah let's do this let's look at some of our, our some of our friends you ready yeah here we go let's go here you go danny p danny p <laughs> <laughs> shout out to danny p you know he he's one of the best guys out there you know he helped he he brings in people he brings in customers for me he during during the virus yeah he helped me out a lot yeah you know and you he, know nate merlin mm -hmm. all of them yeah we're going to keep going through the list of of uh of all the people that are connected to us with us we want to give a big shout out to alex Foos, alex Benya. Yep. Mm -hmm. got to give a big shout out to him as you can see right here in this picture mm -hmm. got danny p we got the Moran brothers, Nate and Marlon Moran. Mm -hmm. I mean, some top-notch people, man. Top-notch guys who are making a difference in the city, man. Yeah. And who was the guy, um, the second one from the left? Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back. Second one from the left. Yeah. I'm not sure who that guy is. I cannot really oh, tell who that, that is. Oh, that guy. That's me. <laughs> oh, that's you. Oh, all right. Now, you look a little older there. That's why I was... Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's so important to, to, to have connections with with friends yeah and one of the things that I, I like about the the circle that we have is that every person in that circle is positive mm -hmm. influential um, productive making a difference in the city Absolutely. for example and and you know I mean we're here to interview you but I want to give a big shout out to Danny P yeah we celebrated with him mm -hmm. just a few days ago yeah um, another great accomplishment Absolutely. where he purchased another building in downtown Bridgeport he almost owns the whole entire block yep right in downtown that's accomplishment soon he's gonna own downtown absolutely absolutely yep <laughs> but let's keep going a couple other people we want to give a big shout out to man we want to give a big shout out to yoel yeah right from yep. uh evolution. evolution sports bar and cafe we want to give a shout out to bridgeport police officer and detective our george buddy george, george Sintran. right there you look at you you leaning back looking like john Gotti in that picture <laughs> <laughs> Uh, again, we got the crew right there, Nate, Danny P, and uh, that's you with that big cigar in the background. Yep, huh? What are you doing with that me. cigar in your mouth, man? And that's us, man. So mm -hmm. what, what I'm trying to point out here, oh, we got to give a big shout out to John Gomes. John Gomes. That's right. Big shout out to yeah. John Gomes. Here's the crew, man. We got uh, Shelton, Police Chief, Sean. Yep. All right. We mm -hmm. got, uh, you know, we got uh, Jose mm -hmm. underneath underneath the picture right there. We got the whole yeah. crew. Oh, we got to give a shout out also to Abrar. Huh? Yeah. There go Abrar. There go my buddy Khan. And let's uh, not call him what we usually call him. But no, 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 no. We can't. We can't. We can't say that word here mm -hmm. live on the show because that'd yeah. be really inappropriate. <laughs> but let's not do that. No, let's not do that. But again, for you guys that are watching, I'm just showing some some highlight pictures of of you know of all our buddies, man. Who mm -hmm. you know we have a tight knit friendship, man. And um, the gentleman that's seated right here to my left is Z. He's the owner of Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, which is located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Listen, if you need um, nicotine products, vaping products, vaping supplies, hookah supplies, if you need cigars, because you have a big uh, humidifier there. Yeah, we do. We have, uh, I think, one of the biggest one in Bridgeport. Mm. Yeah, we have the biggest one in Bridgeport. Yeah. What are some of the cigars you have, Dizzy? Uh, I got plenty of cigars and... I keep adding cigars every week. So the most popular cigars uh, we have is like we have Ashton's, we have Oliva's, Drew Estate, um, Liga Privadas, I got Padrones, um, I got the Fuente Lost City, mm -hmm. uh, which is very, very unique cigar. Um, yeah, I got uh, Perdomo's, um, Cohiba's, I got some unique cigars too, Camacho's, I got Davidoff's, so yeah. Excellent, man. But you don't only have cigars. You have all no. those vaping I got vapes. I got um, pipes. I got hookahs. Um, I got disposable vapes. Uh, I got CBD, which uh -huh. is a, a pretty big market right now. 
Um, obviously, I have lottery too. Um, yeah, I got pretty much everything there. A little of a little bit of everything. Absolutely, man. So what I want to do is, I want to for us to jump in the car. We're gonna take a ride down the street. All right. We're Sounds gonna take good. a ride down to Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop. Let's do it. You're gonna take us on a quick quick five minute tour All of right. your facility. We're just gonna walk through it. We're not gonna smoke a cigar there. No, no smoking. No smoking. Oh, okay. We're just going to walk through. Oh, just walk through? Yeah, you just want to show the viewing audience some of the uh, the uh, product that you have. All right? I was uh, I was planning on demoing a cigar there, you know. <laughs> well, what's in your hand right there? Uh, that's not going to do it. <laughs> I hope that's not a, a wee vape. Uh, it says uh, it's not, but it might be inside. <laughs> you never know. All right, all right. So you ready to take it right down yeah, there? Yeah, let's go. All right, you guys. So listen, if you're watching right now live on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, whatever you're watching on whatever platform, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick stroll down to Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, which is located right there um, at 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We're going to take a quick tour of my buddy's store so you can see what kind of merchandise he has available there at your disposal. We'll be right back momentarily. You guys don't go anywhere. Z, how's it going? Good, how are you, Jay? Good, man. All Hello. right, so we're here in the city of Bridgeport. Spark City. We are at Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop. Welcome and to the store. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, I have to say that you have an immaculate store. You have a beautiful establishment. And um, so far, it is the nicest smoke shop I've seen right here in the city of Bridgeport. Yes, right here on 815 Lafayette Boulevard. My name is Zaman. People call me Z. Um, you can, uh, right here, you can find anything you need to smoke, including cigar, pipes, vapes, um, disposables, you name it, we got it. You wanna walk with me, I'll show you things I got. Uh huh. This is uh, my sister, she's usually here uh -huh. running this store. When Hold I'm on. Not here. Give you a big shout out, hey. <laughs> shout out to Spark City. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right here, you're gonna see, starting from uh, behind the counter, we got all the vapes. Um, the, we got CBD here too. So exactly for the viewing audience, what is CBD? Who don't know what CBD is? All right, the CBD is uh, mainly, it helps uh, with um, a lot of things. It depends what you're using for. It helps you sleep better. It helps uh, your health. Um, a lot of people with chronic pain, uh, arthritis, it helps with a lot of things uh, like that. For a person like me who loves anything that's coconut, do you have a coconut vape? Yes, we got the circus coconut. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got coconut, we got mango, orange, guava, you name it, we have it. Wow, yes. wow, let's keep going, see what else we have. Uh, then we have, um, let's go in the cigar room. Ooh, that's okay. the best part. <laughs> we, um, those are also loose tobaccos. Um, you can roll uh, your own cigarette for, with this. Um, whereas, uh, you know, a carton of cigarette costs almost $120 now. Mm -hmm. And if you buy and roll it up yourself, a bag of tobacco and uh, some tubes are going to cost you $40 where you can roll two and a half, uh, one and a half to two cartons. So, wow, that's, that's a big discount. So, for, um, if you roll your own cigarettes, it's, it's going to cost you $35 for a carton. This is all our cigars. We got, uh, we got a very variety of cigars Monte from Cristo, Cohiba, Monte Cristo, Romeo Juliet. We have um, the acid cigar from Dur State. We got the Ashtons, and uh, this is uh, one of the best cigars, Liga Privadas. Uh, it's made by Dur State. This is a uh, one of the high quality cigars. Wow, um, it's a Nicaraguan cigar. And here are all our pipes, um, like as I showed you the tobaccos inside the uh, humidor. This, these are the machines that are used to roll your own cigarettes. Oh, okay. Right here, this is the machines. This roll king size. This is um, an electric machine, so you don't have to keep cranking the machine. And those are hand machine. So, and those are the filters to put the tobacco. All right. In. So this all is right. the this is the, the lounge area. The lounge area. So you can come here, enjoy yourself a nice cigar, yeah. watch the game, yes, and um, just feel at home, basically. Yes, 
Just feel like home. You bring, uh, if you want to have a drink, you can bring your own drink. Mm -hmm. Get a cigar, sit down and relax. The biggest flavor collection of Rahuka. Those are all the flavors right here. We got it in small packs, bigger packs. Uh, we got the tips. If you're having a party, you want to have a hookah party, we got the plastic tips so people can use it, to, other people can use to smoke your hookah. I want to thank you for the opportunity of being able to come into your store and uh, you taking me on a tour mm -hmm. and giving me a better understanding thank of... Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, of cigars and, mm -hmm. you know, the hookah pipes and the vapes and everything mm -hmm. that you have here yes. at Spark City, man. One of basically the hottest uh, smoke shop in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Again, thank you, Z, very much. You're Truly welcome. appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. And for you guys that are watching live right now on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, LimeWire, or if you're listening to us on our podcast, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back momentarily. Evolution Sport Bar Café, el mejor ambiente de Bridgeport, Connecticut. Presenta Jueves de Karaoke y Happy Hour. Estoy enamorado de una mala. Viernes de Ladies Night, donde las damas entran gratis la noche entera. ¡Qué chévere! Sábado de Fusion Day. Y los domingos son de rumba. Con especial toda la noche. Además, todos los días mezclando en vivo los DJ más duros con los mejores especiales en bebida y aperitivos. Muévete al lugar donde se vive la noche. Evolution Sport Bar Café. 1279 North Avenue, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Reservas al 203-908-1588. Evolution Sport Bar Café, el mejor ambiente. All right, you guys, welcome back to Super Elite Entertainment. I'm your host, Jason Rodriguez, and um, I hope you enjoyed that tour, exclusive tour of Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, which is located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And um, I got the man right here seated right to my left, Z. Let me try to pronounce your name again. Anaf Zaman. You got it this time. I got it? Yep. Put it there. <laughs> because he just tried it. That's no. why you got it. You're going to forget it after five minutes. No, I won't forget it after All five right. minutes. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you one more time. That's why I stick to calling him Z. It's simple. It's easy. It's not complicated. It doesn't twist your tongue. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stick to Z. All, All right. right. Let's stick to Z. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, what did you think about the video? Hmm? It was good. It's perfect. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to say you did an outstanding job. Thank you. And um, I love the black you blazer. You did an job. <laughs> I love the black blazer you was wearing. Thank you. Why you wear it tonight? Hmm? Um, I'm not going to say why, but uh, <laughs> let's say I didn't wear it. <laughs> All right, Z. So let's continue on with the interview. Man. Um, so another question that I wanted to ask you. Governor Lamont um, wants to ban vaping fluids. What, what's your response to that? Well, um, response to that. At the moment, they're not trying to ban it uh -huh. anymore. There was, uh, they were planning to ban it, but they, after uh, businesses like uh, businessmen like us, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of other places w uh, came together, and um, they came up with something a little different. At the end of the day, it's money, money to them. They put in very high taxes on it. They put forty cents per mL uh, tax on liquids. Wow! So uh, every mL, you're paying forty cents more. So say a 30 ml bottle costed you $15, it's going to cost you pretty much $30 now. Damn, wow. So, But it's still better than banning it. And right now they're trying to ban, um, you know, disposables. They're, I think they're going to pretty soon. So that's the next big hit we're going to get. Mm -hmm. If people don't know what uh, I'm talking about, it's uh, something like this. Uh, it's a disposable vape that you use and you throw it out, so it's uh, more convenient. But they're trying to ban this right now. Mm. Um, even though they put tax on it, still, they're trying to ban it. Yeah. So, the services that you provide, because you have two stores, you have one in Naugatuck, you have one in Bridgeport. So let's say I'm throwing a party, I'm throwing a wedding, I'm throwing a bachelor party, whatever the case may be, a baby shower. Um, is there some type of service you can provide for individuals who want to have cigars there present? Yes, absolutely. You know, if you have a party, uh, we can set up a table with uh, different kind of cigars. Uh, if you have um, 
it's a golf tournament you want cigars there um, we can set that up uh, we do birthday parties um, bachelor parties whatever it is baby shower like you said um, we have custom cigar that says um, you know it's a boy or it's a girl or um, I can custom make cigars uh, for you so you're getting married or um, you're having a party or you're having a birthday I can put you know make custom labels for all these cigars I'll put your name on it you know whatever mm -hmm. you want excellent man and for the as aspiring entrepreneur who's who's out there anticipating or hoping to eventually open a business not necessarily a, a, a smoke lounge or or vaping store but they just want to jump into some form of business mm -hmm. what would your words of advice be to them right now that's watching Z? so here's the uh, Thing, the way I see it is you know you cannot just do business if you have money not everyone with money can do business mm -hmm. but if you really want to get into business you always need ex experience just like anything else any job you go to they look for experience same thing business should be the same way if you really want to invest thousands of dollars uh, millions of dollars into a business you should get some kind of experience mm -hmm. me like um, we talked about earlier for a good four or five years I worked a bunch of different places just to get experience just to see how things work um, how the books work how the business works how the uh, employment works how you know everything mm -hmm. paychecks taxes uh, I learned from somebody I learned from a lot of other people that I worked for and they taught me all that yeah. so if you want to open a business if you're certain that you want say you want to open a restaurant that go to restaurants and work there for some time see how it works that way you don't have to work at your own place with your own investment and not make any money so you can go work get the experience and then you know you can decide if you still want to open the business because I see a lot of people mm -hmm. they open the business and they're like yeah this is not for me but you all invested the money at, uh, by then S that's why I say uh, you know if you want to open any kind of business, go out and get the experience first. Nice, nice. So when we look at your type of business, whether in Nogatok or Bridgeport, well, let's, let's stick to Bridgeport, mm -hmm. Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop. Uh, what kind of competition do you face here in the city? Do you have any competition? Me, I, I run my business a little different than a lot of other people. As mm -hmm. far as competition goes, I really don't see it that way because I... I know myself I have one of the best products I mm -hmm. you know I treat customers very good you know a lot of customers it's not just about prices to them it's about the environment mm -hmm. you know they're coming to people come there they, they sit they play lottery they sit down we talk um, you know 15 20 minutes the difference between other business and me is that exactly that you know mm. I take the time out to talk to people I know I know most of my customers um, families I know their kids I know what they do mm -hmm. you know how they feel if they have problems you know they come we talk mm -hmm. and that's the difference between me and other businesses as f if you want cigarette yeah you can go to the gas station get a pack of cigarette but all you're gonna get there is the pack of cigarette mm -hmm. and that's it but you come to me you know we can talk if you ha if you want to know something if you want to talk about something or just vent mm -hmm. you know I'm always there. Absolutely. And that's the type of person you are because I spend quite a good amount of time at your store and I see the way you interact with the customers. And um, every single person that comes in there knows you, mm -hmm. knows your sister. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, knows, knows, knows pretty much the whole family. Yeah. But yeah. Especially, especially Khan. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. They, they come in there and they see your sister. They're like, ah, where's Khan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually... Customer that comes after one o'clock look for him. Customer uh -huh. that come before one o'clock looks looks for her. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna make her feel a little bit better now. Yeah. <laughs> so just so people know, she's behind the cameras. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've been going for almost an hour, mm -hmm. and what I usually do is before I hit you off with what I call the shotgun questions, I like to provide you with an opportunity to speak directly to the viewing audience. And and if there was an opportunity for you to give someone some encouragement, some advice, 
um, let's say someone's going through a hard time, whatever the case may be. And I'm not trying to make this like a religious um, experience or anything like that. But if you was to give someone some advice right now, what would that be? Right there in the camera, Z. Advice? Um, depends on what kind of hard time they're going through. But as, like I said, if anyone is going through hard times, um, as far as job goes, money goes, um, you know, I'm always there to help people out. I have helped people out and uh, like the event we're doing in a couple weeks in Naugatuck is uh, for people like that. I have some sponsors that are going to give out a lot of food, um, nice. a lot of, uh, you know, backpacks and stuff like that. Um, planning on inviting some, uh, some of our friends that we know, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Nate, Merlin, I'm planning on having them there. Um, just to help out the community, yeah. You know, uh, because uh, I, I don't like saying it, but there are people th that I know, their uh, parents really don't have much, and uh, they don't even have an internet at home. So mm. there is a customer of mine actually that I said um, I set her up uh, an internet service for her, just so because there were coming going other places outside the school they're outside um, the stores trying to go on internet wow so that's how i found out and i had somebody take care of him you yeah know, set, set him up with uh, the internet service and you know i know that you come from the culture where i know you do a lot for people i know you do a lot for the community but you're the type that like to do it under the radar you like to do it mm -hmm. in private yeah. you don't like to boast or brag about the mm -hmm. good deeds that you do yeah. but I'm saying it for you you know you're, you're the type of person that you're, you're always giving back and that's really important and that's why you're so successful and so many people love you and appreciate you mm -hmm. in case if you don't know that okay well I appreciate everyone <laughs> that supports me you know help me out throughout the hard times mm -hmm. and and those are the same people that are there for me you know that were there for me in good times they were there for me in hard times and now we're back to pretty much normal they're still there so those are the people that are going to be there for a for a long time or forever mm -hmm. and i try to keep all those customers happy too at the same time you know because they're the one that's pretty much supporting me i'm not supporting them they're supporting me yeah. that's the way i see it yeah. you know a lot of people say oh, they're customers who cares one of them goes but to me that one matters that's right so i'll you know, I like to keep everyone happy, everyone, you know, what they need. Excellent. So, my final question for you before we jump into the shotgun questions. What's your favorite cigar? My favorite cigar? My favorite cigar would be Padron or Liga Privada. Padron both. or Liga Privada? Yep. Okay. Now, leading up to tonight's episode, there's been someone that has been crazy, I mean extremely crazy, mm -hmm. and excited because you were going to be here and extremely mm -hmm. crazy to meet you. The person who is extremely crazy is not here. I know where she is, <laughs> but she is somewhere else. <laughs> no, she's here. Oh, really? Yeah, she's here. Yeah, all right. All right? All right. You want to meet her? She's um, nice. She's a good people. I'll meet her, but the only way I meet her is if I can meet her after the camera is shut down. No, you're not going to meet her after the camera shut down. You're gonna be her right now because she's oh, been dying. Oh damn! She's been dying. Oh no, damn! Let me you move ready? to the other side. <laughs> nah, let me move to the other side. <clears throat> Hi, Z. <laughs> Hello. Lola's been re wanting to meet you. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I've been wanting to meet her for a long time. <laughs> she's been giving you all those hickeys. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Z. How you doing? Is he gonna? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I gotta stay away. <laughs> Lola been biting me. So, in case if you guys don't know and you watch right now, there is Lola. And Lola is in love with Z. And, um, you know, yeah, it, it's between you and her, man. Whatever you want to do is up to you. No. Nope. <laughs> Take her. All right. I'll, um, I'll keep her. You, I, got a, I got a SOS uh, from her that he locked her up in the, in the closet. <laughs> I sure did because she was slick with her mouth. She kept running her mouth. So, I threw her in the closet face down. That's because I wasn't here. <laughs> so Z we come to all the right, point I'll, of the show I'll keep her that's all right <laughs> I'll keep her we come to the point of the show where I'm going to hit you off with what I call the shotgun questions all right all right all right so these are simple questions I ask each and every guest that comes on the show um, you can respond to them accordingly 
Let's see how you do it. It's simple, right? Sometimes it can be a little complicated. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. What's your favorite song? Favorite song? Favorite song? You already know my favorite song. Which one is that? I, um, it's by J, uh, J Bovin. J Bovin? Yeah. Downtown. Okay. That's one of my favorite songs. I don't know. I just like the, uh, you know, I don't really understand the lyrics that good, uh -huh. but the beat to it, the way it's, it is. I love that song. And just to let the people know, you are more Puerto Rican than you are your own culture, right? All you listen to is Spanish music, reggaeton. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't care if you're driving in your car alone or with someone else, mm -hmm. with your sister, whoever, whoever mm -hmm. you, I mean, you're pumping reggaeton. I am. Yeah, I've been uh, for, for a good four or five years now. I've been listening to um, mostly Spanish music. I used to listen to Indian music a lot. Uh huh. And um, I started to listen to Spanish music, even though, you know, I don't understand the lyrics that good, but I can, I, lo I love the beats, I love the music. Uh huh. So, yeah, I've been listening to that forever. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And I love riding in the car with you because I know what I'm going <laughs> to listen to. <laughs> favorite movie? Ah, favorite movie. My favorite movies are um, Fast and the Furious. Okay. It's the whole series. I love all of them. Excellent. That's my favorite series. Of movies. Your favorite food. I know you like to eat, especially bangan. Uh, well, shelter. my favorite food is steak. You're right. It is steak. My favorite food is steak. You're right. You're mm. forever eating a steak. Yeah. This guy eats a steak every day at midnight. <laughs> yep. Well, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. And uh, I'll ask you a question at the end of it. Oh boy! So you're gonna you're gonna flip the show and interview me? Yep. Okay. <laughs> or I can ask you right now. Ask me. What do you eat every day? Chicken. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I eat a steak uh, at midnight. You eat chicken for lunch, breakfast, dinner, snack. You got chicken all over you. All day. That's all I eat is chicken. You even ate chicken before we came here. Absolutely. <laughs> I had chicken tacos. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? Favorite sport? Soccer. Soccer? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. What team? Mm -hmm. You have a team? Or you just Barcelona. like the sport? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think that's my son's favorite team. Um, You like Ronaldo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Messi, Ronaldo. I like all them, you know. Who's who's better between the two, Messi and Ronaldo? Who do you think is better? They're both good. Who do you I think like, is better? They're both good. Who do you think is great? They're both great. Who do you think is the GOAT? They're both... They're okay, both. let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I like both of them. All right. Yep. Favorite car? Favorite car. I'm going to answer that for you. All right. The Lambo you're going to buy. <laughs> you already know it. Uh-huh. The Lambo. Mm -hmm. Make sure when you buy it, you let me take it for a spin. All right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You're probably going to go with me to buy it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to go to Dubai and get it. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite thing you like to read? Favorite thing I ever like to read? I don't do really read much. No? no I'm not into books or um, you know anything. Okay. So. We're going to pass that question. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite thing you like to do? Favorite thing I like to do? I, if, if I had the time and um, if I had the time and a place to go, it would be racing. Racing? I love racing. Yeah. Like NASCAR? Yeah. Wow. I go to uh, this place in um, Pennsylvania to race and um, extreme drive. Uh, Wait it's a minute. Called. That's the place you said you were going to take me to? Yeah. We, where we could drive Lambos, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a ra full racetrack. You rent the whole racetrack and you just race. Absolutely. We're going to get there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get there. Well, <laughs> What's your favorite word you like to use? Favorite word? Favorite word. Get some. Uh, now the seat is getting hotter. The what? Now the seat is getting hotter. That's the favorite word I like to use now. The seat is getting hotter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with it, man. I'm going to go with it. Um, favorite place you like to visit? Favorite place I like to visit? If it is from the places I already visited, it would be Dubai. Dubai, yeah. I like to visit there. 
that's yeah. um, that's one of my favorite places to visit because you can go there every year still not be done with the mm. place there's so much to do so much to see and it's Dubai is kind of like a technology like iPhone mm. pretty much it changes every six months there's something new every six months Wow so you're never gonna get tired of that place and we are eventually at some point gonna take a trip to Dubai yeah and I want to fly on the best uh, uh, airliner which is the Emirates Emirates yep all right I want the one with the room though I could get to take a shower mm -hmm. during flight no you don't want like the spa yeah I want the one with the spa what's that like probably 50,000 for one way now, if you take Lola with you it's gonna be free <laughs> <laughs> all right let's keep going final question all, all right. right final question and hopefully this is not an inappropriate question because I know you're uh, you come from uh, the Muslim faith mm -hmm. But I'm gonna ask the question anyhow, and if it's something that you don't answer, we'll 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 skip. Mm -hmm. So, when you arrive to heaven, if you believe in heaven, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. When you arrive there, what do you want to hear God the Great, Allah, say to you when you arrive there? Well, um, that's a little different question. I'm gonna explain it to you this way as. Uh, as far as our beliefs go, mm -hmm. uh, you don't. Uh, we don't have uh, anything that anyone says. Like there is nothing that says that somebody is going to say anything to you. Mm -hmm. um, it's a what we believe in, um, or our religion believes in, is um, you just walk through this road, and if you're going to heaven, the road is going to be like you're going to cross the road in a second, mm. or if you're going to hell. You're never gonna cross that road. You're gonna be in the middle of the road and fall in hell. Hell is underneath, wow. and you just walk to heaven. And there, you don't. The way the thing we believe is, when you go to heaven, you don't have to ask for anything. If it comes to your mind, it's gonna appear in front of you. Mm. So you don't have to, you know, say anything. You just think about it, wow. and it, you're gonna have it. All Excellent. you gotta do is think about it. I love that response, man. I just learned something today. <laughs> I love that response. So with that said, we've hit one hour. We've concluded the show. We have come to the completion of an mm -hmm. amazing episode with my good friend Z from Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, which is located 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yep. And um, again, we want to encourage you that are watching. If you ever want to come through, you might catch me there. You'll catch Z. You'll catch your sister. You'll catch Abrar. You'll catch uh, Khan. I mean, come through. And uh, you know what? It's really important for, for all of us to show us our, our support to local small businesses, especially here yeah. in the city of Bridgeport. Yeah. And um, great example, that's why the mayor canceled all meters so that he can attract people to come to downtown. Yeah, that was you know, the uh, shop. That was the one of the biggest thing in downtown uh, when I was looking for a place to rent around here. Um, even though um, Danny P is a good friend of ours, he, mm -hmm. wants a, he wants the building downtown. He wanted me to come down there. But at the end of the day, I need a bigger parking spot. And at that time, there, the meters were still running. So for me, like people that come to the lounge or come and play lottery, you know, you don't want them to get a ticket. Mm -hmm. They come to spend $30 and they get a $30 ticket. You know, they're never going to come back. Absolutely. And I have talked with multiple people before about the meters. Like you should get rid of it. And do something else maybe some other way but get, just get rid of the meters because at the end of the day customers are not gonna will not willing to pay you know an extra two dollars or three dollars or whatever it is and if the time runs out then you get a ticket mm. so they don't want to take that chance mm. so I mean it's, it's not bad absolutely man mm -hmm. so with that said we're done I truly yep. appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Z, Thank for coming you. out to the studio. Thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, we had a blast. Yeah, we had a blast, yep. man. You met Lola finally. Yes. You know, she's she's sitting right there waiting for you to take her home with you. But I'll you know. take her on my scooter. <laughs> but uh, we're about to get out of here, guys. But, 
Z, again, mm -hmm. thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank God you bless for you. Love me. you to death, man. Appreciate you. you. And I want to just thank each and every one of you who tuned in tonight. I want to acknowledge some of you guys really quick. Um, I see Benny. Benny, our good friend Benny right now is watching. Mm -hmm. um, he's tuning in. Andres Rojas, thank you for watching. Jim Mezzo, Catherine, Catherine Rosario, Chris Rosario's wife is watching. Bill, uh, Bill Mazabufi is watching. Luigi Vincent, let me put you back on the camera, Z. Luigi Vincent is saying, you are the man, Z. You are thank the man. Thank you, thank you. Yes, and uh, Raul San is a good friend of mine. It's my cousin Gabriel Figueroa is watching. Michael, Michael Martinez, Mikel Martinez, who mm -hmm. who did all the catering, catering for the yeah. one-year celebration. Yep. Um, he's watching as well. He's saying, hey, um, hey guys, hope you're doing great. Yep. What's up, Mike? Uh, matter of fact, um, you know, the second year anniversary is going to be a big event. So Mike, mm -hmm. better, he better start getting ready for yeah, that. He better get to start ready. <laughs> I might have him in a couple weeks. And then, oh, in a couple of weeks. There you yeah. go. At the Noga Talk store. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Linda De Jesus is saying hi, Jason. Hi, hi back. Carmen Hernandez is watching. Carmen Ayala is watching. Isaac George is watching as well. My mother way out there in Florida is watching. Ron Petway, Dolly Villafane, Marlon Moran is watching as well. Good, right. Our good brother, mm -hmm. Marlon, is watching. And just before you forget, happy birthday to your mother. She's oh. been waiting for it. You wouldn't say it. Oh, <laughs> big happy birthday to my mother as well, who's watching way out there in, in Tampa, Florida. Um, Dolly Villafane, Moyeto FPV is saying, I can hear you. I, I asked in the mm -hmm. beginning show who can hear us. And um, my, my, my niece, Christina Diaz, is watching. You know, I truly appreciate all you guys who tuned in tonight. Without you, we, without you, we would not be able to do this on a weekly basis. So I, I pray that you will continue so showing your love and your support and uh, continue following us and, and leaving comments and clicking that share button whenever we come live on the scene. But without, with, with, with that said, we are done for the night. It has been a good time. We'll be back next Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, same time, same place, same channel for another amazing episode. And, um, you know, check our website out so you can see who's going to be on our show next week next Tuesday night. Again, if you haven't uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Super Elite Entertainment. Visit our website at www.SuperEliteEntertainment.com. With that said, thank you guys so much. God bless. See you next Tuesday night for another amazing episode. Take care, guys. God bless.